evaluate modulus of 7 we want to I'm going to talk about the modulus or absolute value that is very much used in maths okay the first question is evaluate absolute value of 7 or modulus of 7 whenever you have this sign of two lines this is asking you the question 7 is how far away from 0 so let me write that question so the question that you should ask is 7 is how far away how far away from 0 I'm reminded of the far far away story okay uh, okay so 7 is how far away from 0 well 7 is 7 far away from 0 so the answer is 7 here okay now to just show you on a number line suppose this is a number line this is a number line and say so this is your 0 and this is your 7 on the number line so 7 is how far away from 7 7 okay so here again the same question modulus of or absolute value of negative 7 so here the question is negative 4 is how far away from 0 so let us draw the number line so this is the number line say this is this is this is your 0 and this is your negative 4 so you've got negative 1 negative 2 negative 3 negative 4 so negative 4 is how far away from 0 so the answer is 4 yeah you have to do a sim you have to simplify before answering so modulus of or absolute value of 4 minus 1 is absolute value of 3 so here again the same question 3 is how far away from 0 so that's obviously 3 this is absolute value of 2 minus 6 which is absolute value of negative 4 again the same question 2 negative 4 is how far away from we already have this question so we don't need to do it again so it's 4 8 minus modulus of 8 minus 10 which is modulus of minus 2 okay minus 2 is how far away from 0 again draw a number line so this is your number line this is your 0 this is your negative 1 this is your negative 2 so you're answering the question negative 2 is how far away how far away from 0 so it is 2 that's simple as it is okay now here we want to evaluate this equation and also graph it so here the question is modulus of x minus 2 is equal to 7 so here again the same question um, I'll explain this in two different ways first is again you're asking the question x minus 2 is a number okay so that we'll call that something that something is 7 away from 7 away from 0 so let me draw the number line okay so let me draw a number line say so this is your number line oops you can draw that better so let's draw the number line so this is your number line and uh, this is your zero so we are saying x minus 2 is a number we don't know that number that is 7 away from that's 7 away so that's how can a number be 7 away from 0 well you can go 7 to the right or you can go 7 to the left if you go 7 to the left from 0 you get negative 7 so you can say this x minus 2 can either be 7 or negative 7 or if you think about, about this if if you think in a different way we know modulus of 7 is 7 and modulus of negative 7 is also 7 okay so because 7 is 7 away from 0 and negative 7 is also 7 away from 0 so this x minus 2 I can say x minus 2 is equal to 7 or you can say x minus 2 is equal to negative 7 so if you add I want to get rid of this negative 2 so I'm going to add 2 to this side so to add 2 to this side so this is the left hand side and this is the right hand side so this and this gets cancelled so x is equal to 9 okay and 
The second option is the same thing. You have to add two to this side, so you have to add two to this side. So this and this gets cancelled. So x is equal to negative seven plus two is negative five. So let us check the answer by putting the answer back into this. So let us do it here. So let us check like this. So if you put nine into this, you go nine minus two, which is modulus of seven and modulus of 7 is 7. If you put negative 5, it's negative 5 take away 2, which is again negative 7, and modulus of negative 7 is 7. A different way of looking at the same question is, before I explain that, let me explain something else. Say when you say 5 minus 1 is equal to 4, okay? Now can we write this in English like this, that the distance I can say the distance of 5 from 1 is 4. The distance of 5 from 1 is 4. Now let me explain that in number line. So let's draw a number line. Okay, so this is a number line. And say this is your, this is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, so this is phi and this is 1. So what I'm saying is phi is 4 away from phi. The distance of phi from 1 is 4. So this is 1, 2, 3, 4. So the same thing, so let us write that again. Modulus of x minus 2 is equal to 7. So can we write the same thing like the distance, the distance of x from 2 is 7. The same thing can be written as the distance of x from 2 is 7. So let us again draw the number line. So this is your 2 and you have to go the distance of x, whatever that x is, is from 2 is 7. So you have to go 7 to the right. Okay, so uh, the distance of, uh, yes, the distance of x from 2 is 7. So if you go 7 to the right, yeah, if you go 7 to the right, you have to add 7. So if you go 7 to the right plus 7, so you'll reach 9. That one possibility is, or you go 7 to the left. It is not drawn to scale. If you go 7 to the left, where will you reach? You will reach negative 5. And that was the answer. So this is one possibility. X is either negative 5 or X is equal to 9. So we got the same answer, x is 9 or x is negative.